This is Karasandara Primary School in Kasese District, where safe water is still hard to find. The effects of climate change, including landslides, flooding, are a daily reminder of the urgent need to craft responses to the growing catalogue of challenges. We normally respond with emergency relief, that is food and land food relief items. And we always resettle people displaced by natural disasters, some of whom have been uh, resettled in Kiriandongo uh, and others uh, in other districts like Chaka. This has consequently exposed them to epidemics such as cholera, drought, wanting infrastructure, deaths, among others. Some of the children fail to access their schools, and this has consequently affected their education. We are, not, we are not going to cross this bridge going to school, which will lead to poor mess in our classes. When this bridge is blocked away, water will have to come into our village. And this, I think you are seeing here, the way of this water is flowing into our village. Policymakers, however, do not seem to prioritize efforts towards disaster risk reduction, and the absence of a committee on disaster in Parliament does not do justice to reducing the impact of climate change, leaving more efforts to partners. That information comes as English. For this person to take that information to the community, they have to break it up. But now, if you have an environment officer, who, and who gets 14,000 a quarter, for instance, as the focal person to deliver that information. Do you think he has the capacity to do that? According to the World Bank, at least 200,000 Ugandans are affected by various types of disasters each year. United Nations Development Program has installed automatic weather stations in 25 sites as part of early warning systems infrastructure with hope to avert the destructive effects of climate change. When the network goes off, it captures the data. When it comes back, it sends it to weather Uganda every 15 months. So it's actually it has brought impact to us because we are moving forward because of this new automatic weather station. You're no longer missing data. Data has been having data in hard copies. At times, they, they are, our, in fact, they pick them, the files get, get, got, got old and get torn, but this ones, the data is cooked in soft copy, so it can, can keep it and use it at any time. Two years, 200 years back in front, anywhere, anywhere we need it, we can access it. Due to climate change, Uganda is experiencing unreliable and extreme rainfall, which results into shorter and irregular heavy rains, as well as longer drought episodes and severe cases of mud and landslides. Nancy Okwong, WBS Kampala.